Welcome to Commander Pop Culture, a place to gather magical information with some laughs, might I add. Asexual reproduction, <laughs> like in Jurassic Park. Life, uh, finds a way. And Zinnia is that thing. I like it because creature cells gain offspring, and I thought it was funny that you don't need a secondary mate in this scenario. Unless you want to count Zinnia as the second part of that, like, mating ritual. Just the bird mates with everything and makes <laughs> progeny or offspring. I thought asexual uh, reproduction would be funnier anyways. Let people uh, rethink their biology lessons. But anyways, he's a 1 through flying and he gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of creatures you control with power 1. The goal of the deck is to make offspring of everything that I play. For that to be consistent, I need to play really low to the ground creatures. Every creature in this deck costs 2 CMC or less. <laughs> it's one of the cheapest CMC decks I've ever played. Uh, 41 creatures and the average CMC is 1.55. This is gonna be a fun deck. We have Dire Feet Daredevil, so I make copies of it. And then um, I could steal people's instant sorceries as removal. Well, Sealed Rider to blow up artifacts and enchantments. Loyal Sentry. I'm running this guy and I'm running Abu Jafar. They're both uh, creatures that if they block, you destroy the creature it's blocking. It's like pseudo death touching and I like the idea of making copies of them. The reason why I treated these creatures of having two additional costs to their, their mana costs, because I want to consistently create a copy of them. Spirited Companion for card advantage, same with Wall of Omens. I have a lot of scaling bodies in this deck too. Johnny's Pride Mate's one of them. There is a pseudo life gain uh, sub theme to this list because I'm running the Soul Sisters. And uh, if I have copies of them, this will get big really quick and really fast. If I'm gonna have a load of the ground stuff, I need to make sure that uh, they're somewhat lethal. I can't just be sitting here spinning my wheels all game long and relying on this. Although it, this is a pretty reliable uh, win condition. Just soup them up to the point where you one shots people with the token board. Mold Drifter for card advantage. Skulling Viper is pretty fun. Whenever an opponent casts spell three mana or less, it deals one damage to that player. And I like the idea of having copies of him. Goldmer is fantastic. Um, any kind of body that also produces mana is ideal because it feeds into itself. If I invest an extra two mana, that means I get two mana production for the future to pay into Zinnia's offspring costs. So I'm running all the Murs in this list. Guy Clave Operation for removal, Bounty Agent for removal, Lunark Veteran. I'm running all the one drops that let you gain a life off of one drop. This one is Disturb and comes back where you gain life whenever something dies. Ornithopter for mana, Rumor Gatherer. This is pretty sick to make copies of. Whenever another creature enters, you scry one and then if it's a second time, you draw a card as well. You make a copy of them and they'll see each other. And then you'll have to play something else but like if you just have rumor gather every creature you cast with the kicker of offspring you're guaranteed to get a scry and a draw off of every single thing unfortunately this can only trigger once a turn so that's the the trade-off selfless spirit to protect my board creatures get indestructible till end of turn that's also pretty sweet to make a copy of selfless savior to protect your commander uh, you sack it to give your target creature indestructible party thrasher seemed really fun in this list uh, Non-creature spells you control have Convoke, but the nice part about this is at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you get the discard card. If you do exile the top two of your library, you may play one of them this turn. So, Trophy Mage. This has a very specific intention to tutor for, and that is Simple and Sample, because then it makes my offspring cost zero, and I don't have to invest anything. <laughs> Uh, I just have to exile a creature with this, and then I'm off to the races. My mana problem goes out the window. Benevolent Bodyguard, give a, it's a sack to protect my commander. Amped Raptor, uh, this is like pseudo Cascade, lets me cast stuff off the top of my library. Dragon Master Outcaster, this is gonna be fun to make a copy of. Make two five fives to be in my upkeep every turn. Essence Channeler, this is another scaling body like a Johnny Pride Mate. Speaker of the Heavens, this lets you make uh, four four angels, and I can make two of them every turn. <laughs> Kami the False Hope, this lets me all combat damage. Real Bunnicorn is another win condition. Uh, scales up based on the number of non-land permanents I control. Souls Attendant for that insane amount of life gain. Sarah Paragon. This is one of the very few like three CMC or less cards I really like. It's because you cast it from your graveyard and you could still get the Zinnia triggers. Unlike most of the other ones, it puts it directly in play and you miss out. Eidolon of the Great Revel. This seems like a fun burn card. Ah, <laughs> 
since I have a life gain package in here, I should not care about this as much as everyone else does. <laughs> everyone else will lose an insane amount of life with this in play. Agate Instigator, it's basically Impact Trammer's just cracked out. Can make uh, another copy of him, so it acts like a uh, Perforos. Two Mother Runes, can't go wrong with that. Guide of Souls, this one. I've been seeing this play by another one of my buddies and it's been a pretty consistent performer and I'm pretty excited to try it out. The energy adds up so fast and you could scale something up with two counters and give it flying. <laughs> it also fits that theme of making my my little tiny dudes into a big scary threat. And then my Haymaker, uh, which I'm spending $11 of my budget on, is Moonshaker Cavalry to close out games and Alpha Strike people to death. These are just A-list or removal spells at instant speed. I'm running Don's Truce and Boros charm to protect my board still really surprised that don's truce is still three bucks uh skull clamp to draw a bunch of cards sack my offspring tokens to it if i run a gas cloud key for cost reduction to cut my uh offspring costs in half court of ardenvale i like this uh as a recurrable permanent returner because even if you don't have the monarchy and it gets put back in your hand that means an opportunity to go for the offspring again <laughs> we talked about city on fire it's convoke you can tap creatures to pay its cost and deal three damage with uh anything that connects 